Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. What happened? Where's Arno? Speak. Shh. shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster will go, come. Monster? What monster? Big. With the t teeth and, and... And what? This is pointless. Won't tell us anything in his condition. Speak. What happened here? I was so scared. So, so scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But... They were so loud. And... Something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then, Unki Arno came and said, Sit quiet, real quiet. Shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them and ran away. Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife for a generous fee. I don't see them, can't hear or smell them either. They fled, left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice, and a monster wouldn't come. But it did. It came. What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me, we hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, shh, 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 held her long, till she stopped. You mean to say you... Drop it. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You, you track down this scum. Bring me its head, and I'll help you with the Unseen. Boys hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go! Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on. Get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Wolves asleep in midst the trees, bats all are swaying in the breeze. But one soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner. Of ghouls, hags, and wraiths. Head, shoulder, and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Beast killed the children, but didn't eat them. Something scare it off? Or grab its attention? Paw prints. Bipedal beast. 
walks hunched over. Blood hasn't even dried. Sliced aorta, fang marks alongside, but they're old, scarred over. Smells not blood. Need to investigate. Gunk. Is that venom? Hmm. Arrows the list of suspects. Venom glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane, a pack leader, an alpha. For Garcane's killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. It's two. Mm -hmm. Garcane and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach. Drove off the road. Horses must have gotten spooked. here. Need to look around. Wounds are bad. At least it didn't suffer long. Shredded her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop. Got a cane at its fill here. Probably holed up nearby to digest. Aha. head from my saddle, bastard. Those kids. Oriana kept them like farm fowl or livestock. Damn it.
face him now. I thought it would take you longer. It will. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. The orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. No! Don't hurt her! Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be! You see, Witcher? The world's not black and white, it's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true, but never so much as to kill. And I gave them a great deal in return. Expect me to thank you for taking such good care of the orphans? You care so much for their well-being. <laughs> Amusing. How do young witches fare? How many survive your trials? Don't change the subject. Not about to let you. Then get to the point. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garcane, one of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes, it carries quite away. Its sweetness teases the nose. Gets the mouth watering. Unseen Elder, where'll I find him? Talk. His lair lies west of the city, across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna take me there? I visit the Elder only when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm. Then I shall keep an eye out for you. Time to summon Regis. Slip a word to the birds, he said. the boat landing near the palace, waiting for Regis there. Mind telling him? So, you decided to talk to Oriana after all. How did you fare? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Oh, I admit I'd heard rumors, but... I preferred to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Caves west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Perhaps we could give it one more try. I mean, we were so close. Mm-hmm, but I changed my mind. Yet, perhaps you'd care to reconsider once more? Don't push it, Regis. Orphanage, Dedloff's fault. 
City gutters are overflowing with blood. Also his doing. And you were worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? Come on. In meeting the Unseen Elder, you will risk all. You cannot be certain to leave with your life. Yet if we meet Detlaf's demand, the killing will cease at once. <sighs> You've worn me down, Regis. Fine, have it your way. Playroom. Let's go. Excellent decision. Time will tell. Beyond the doors, the playroom. Found one of my brethren sniffing about. I made sure he'd stay out of our way. Careful! Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with his door. Would you mind? Not at all. your service. Miniature tableware and plush toys. Cute. Not the wall. I suppose they got a lot of use. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism's damaged. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so. 
though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bluda is damned, or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Hmm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Well, well. A key tucked behind a picture. it? Let's see. Expecto Ludum.